everybody, it's Christy back with another video and today we are going to talk about Yuli watercolors. So we're continuing the metallic watercolor series and we are going to dive in to the Yuli brand. So if you guys don't know Yuli watercolors, Jeannie is just fantastic. She's been selling on Etsy for a really long time. I believe she has like a total storefront now where you can buy things from and I have been buying her watercolors for a while. I started with this set right here. It is a set that is no longer available, but I love it. It is a travel mica set. I have been using this for at least two years, maybe more than that, probably more than that. You'll have to look back because I did my initial review with this palette at least two years ago, I'd say. And uh, yeah, this is just a workhorse for me. I use it all the time and you can see that it still looks and has so much paint left in it. It's great for traveling. It's got 24 colors and I think it was around $50 a couple years ago and was just a great investment for me for a really quality travel set of metallic watercolors. She also, I also ordered this back then and I've been using it since. It's a color shifting vintage dot card. I really like it. Some of them color shift, some of them don't, but it was just really cool paint and I have been using this with it as well. I have been collecting the quarter pans for a while, so I finally bit the bullet recently and took all of the quarter pans that I had and then added to them. Like I really just went crazy and bought this palette here, which is so neat. Show you guys what it does. Everything is magnetic and ma like magneted down. This just is the top. And then now we have all these pans that are in here and they are magnetic. They are in here magnetically. So I'm really like moving them. But if you watch here, like look, Nothing is moving whenever I'm moving it like this. And then whenever you're moving it for good, you would put this lid back on and it would be good to go. Sorry for the ring light. I do like having my ring light, but it's kind of being annoying right now. So let me go through what is in here. Let's try turning off the ring light and see how it looks if I do that. Um, stand by. I'm going to play with this for a few minutes. All right, so I found that if I put it over here, and we'll just go ahead and stick our watercolor testing sheet right here, because that's what we're going to do anyway. But I'm going to go through what I have in quarter pans and talk a little bit about the paints in general. So I have the, the these are all, like I said, quarter pan paints. And I have the quarter pan set of 21 Christmas paints that comes with the holographic let me see if I turn it around and you can see it. Will it focus? Will it focus here on my hand? There it goes. It says 3D. That is the 3D holographic paint that I had from this swatch card here. So I have that one. I also have Disco, which is right here. And I have another one called 113. I'm not sure if that's on here or it's just a new hollow. She's got several holographic options. So this whole like series right here is the Christmas quarter pan set of 21. Then we have the Pearl Color Shifter set of six. These are all, I believe, still available on her website. At the time of filming, you should still be able to get everything that's in here. I've been using these for, I think I got them for Christmas two years ago now, um, upcoming. So in 2021, I absolutely love them. They are so fun and they are absolutely beautiful to work with, the color shift. This is a super color shifter I recently picked up. Really excited to swatch that and show it to you. And then I have a set of eight Disney Princess quarter pans. I really like those. It was just a really cool color palette for me as a floral and landscape artist and somebody that likes to paint like fairies, unicorns, jellyfish, that kind of stuff. This was just a nice range of paints to have. It's kind of niche. Not everybody would enjoy it, but I do enjoy those. And then, like I said, I've got some nice dot cards here. I have at least one or two other Yuli dot cards floating around my studio somewhere, or I know that I had the neon set. I sent those to Jake over at Doomsayer because I really don't use neon that much, but he's a comic book artist, and I thought he definitely would get more use out of them than me. And then, like I said, this set doesn't exist on her site anymore, but she does have 
similar things that you could pick up that would replace this as well. Like I said, the paint that's in here has been lasting me a really long time. I don't expect to run out of any of these paints anytime soon. So I really do like this brand. I think that there is a ton of versatility. It is a premium brand. So you are paying a definite premium price for these. There's no doubt about it. Yuli is a more expensive brand, but she's doing everything herself and um, doing all of the color mixing, just like Scrim. So if you're going to go on Etsy and you're going to buy from a small seller, you're going to get a quality product, but you're going to pay a little bit more for it. The thing I like about Yuli's store is that Jeannie offers things that are this size. She offers the mini pans. She offers some travel sets, not this one, but she does offer some things like that. And she offers these dot cards, which have amazingly large pucks of paint on them and can last you for a really, really long time at a really fair price point. So I think that for anybody, if you wanted to try her paints, it is absolutely affordable. I didn't get all of these in one go. This was a Christmas gift two years ago. These were a gift maybe for Mother's Day a while back. And then I did go out and finally purchase this set after waiting on it for a really long time. So I have taken my time to build up my collection with her. And I absolutely know that it's not in the pricing for everybody. We'll talk about all of that once we do the testing. But I'm going to go ahead and get to swatching and showing you how these paints look. And then we'll see how they stack up for my final score that I'm going to give in a little bit here. All right, are we ready to talk about these Yuli paints? So first of all, I only tested what's in here because I know that all of this is currently available for you to purchase. 
So I figured that I only test this. Some of these colors are available to purchase in mica quarter sets. She has quarter mica sets of 21 um, colors each. This is a 24 set, so not all of them are in here. But I didn't want to swatch this in particular because it's older. These all are much more recent and all still available. So I want to just watch them. She does have things changing in and out all of the time on her website. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're doing or going to purchase from Jeannie. I didn't see this dot card. I know this dot card isn't out there anymore, but there are similar dot cards um, of both of to both of these that exist in the ether. But again, I didn't swatch anything I couldn't find. So here's what we have. Let's take a look at the white swatches and then at the black swatches. So here is the white swatches. Admittedly, these colors are probably, like if you just look at them on dull white paper, you can definitely still see a little bit of graininess and you definitely can see where the pigment separates. But the whole idea of these is that when things move, beauty happens and they are very pigmented. Like, can you guys see? There it is. So like in the light, you can just see how pigmented everything is. And then those color shifting paints, like there we go. And then we come around and we get something totally different. This color shifting one in particular is just spectacular. We're only getting one side of the color shift in the camera, but I can also see the purple. Um, you know, these things are always so hard to show off on camera, but man, they're awesome. Uh, the, the test for the Leaf came out nicely. Look at how cool this little guy is here. He's got so many colors. The colors blend, but they don't bleed too much, and you can still see unique colors, which to me is important as a metallic watercolor artist. We didn't get a, a ton of flow, but it's about the same flow as most of the other paints have had, save for the Soho paints, which were like an amazing flow. We got a little more flow on this paper, if you'll notice, but look at what these do on black paper. These are my favorite watercolors on black paper, without a doubt, without a question. Look, look at that little jellyfish, man. Look at all the colors we're getting. And that's, you know, and if I, I go the other way, I'm trying really hard to show you the shift. But I think you can see the shift better too, even on here with these paints right here. These are so cool on black paper. So anyhow, um, they just swatch like a dream. I love them. Look at the hollow up here really hard to get a good light on them so that you can see. But let's go ahead and talk about my testing sheet and how they test out. So first of all, it's kind of hard to determine a lot of what's here, like with the definitive answer, because of the selection that exists. Yuli has so many things on their website, on their Etsy shop, hundreds of colors, just so many to choose from. So I tried to give you some of what I have here for this ish set of mica paints which again three years ago was 54 55 dollars you can get 21 quarter pan mica paints that's this size so much more than i was getting here for 80 bucks which is a good deal um the christmas set that i have here is currently 125 dollars. it's pricey but the colors are really beautiful and if you're gonna do christmas cards like if you're a card maker you would buy this once and be able to use it for ever. 60 for the six color pearl shift paintings and or colors. Anytime you get into that color shift or holographic line, you're going to be even higher in a premium. Now, some of these dot cards, that Christmas pan set, maybe that's like, nope, can't do that. For the same thing in a dot card, it's only $20. And that, that dot card's going to last you for a really long time. The Disney Princess line is $7 on the dot card. Most dot cards are between $5 and $20. These dot cards of this size are usually $5 or $6. And again, you're getting so much paint for 5 or 6 bucks here. It's a really good deal if you want to try things out before you buy big sets of things. I really recommend shopping her that way. So I think that her pricing is appropriate for what she's offering. And I think that she offers a range of... Of different things. I didn't see any pigment info anywhere. I don't think that she's offering any pigment information. Generally, when you're working with somebody handmade, I'm not necessarily 
looking for light fastness. I'm looking for it to be a really quality product that is beautiful. I feel like light fastness is if I was going to create something that was going to sit under glass with metallics. Often, I don't think that's really the goal, right? Because we're not going to do it. But some people like to know if pigment info is out there. I couldn't find it. That doesn't mean that she wouldn't give it to you if you asked for it. It's very possible that she would. I didn't contact her to ask. But yes, they're handmade. Yes, they're separate palettes. There's all kinds of palettes. So these came um, with so, like these came in all kinds of different palettes before that. One of them looked like this. So she packs stuff like this sometimes. Let me find the other one here. These are super cute. She had some of my paints packed in this at one point in time. And actually, these are all my minis because she sends me minis whenever she sends me new paints. So I just keep all the minis in here. I don't actually know what I'm going to do with these, but they're kind of fun. Those gold pearl paints are actually really pretty. I do use them from time to time because they're a little bit less glittery than these two golds. So anyhow, that kind of lives in the vicinity of my desk. Um, so let's see what else do we have here. U.S. availability is excellent. You can definitely get it. There's Etsy and her regular shop. On white paper, I give these an A. On black paper, I give them an A++. They are without a doubt my favorites. I say they are as good as my scrim paints that I have, but I def and I and definitely as good as my Paul Rubens paints. But they get the edge because just look at that, right? I just think that the color shifting. And in general, it is my favorite look on black paper. There are so many options. Like I said, favorite for a premium brand and overall versatility. I'm not surprised that they tested well for me. I'll show you the score here in a minute. Color shifting. Yes, they definitely have color shifting paints. Holographic. Yes, she has specific ones that are just glitter. She has neon, which are black light reactive. I don't have a use for those, so I didn't keep them. And then she also has the super shift paints. Like I said, just all around a great seller. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this. Every time I do this, then it like wants to rip after I took the time to write everything in so nicely. So yep, it ripped on me a little bit, but we can still read everything here. Five out of five for shine, versatility, and color variety. Four out of five for flow. I just think they are about the same as the Paul Rubens. So here's where we get a little bit dicey because I did give four and a halfs instead of fours or fives. Price, I'm going to give a four and a half out of five. That might seem really high because you're looking at this going, okay, Christy, these are really high prices. But she offers things that are dot cards, that are smaller sets that you could buy to try. And in the premium range, I do still think that makes them accessible and affordable to people because you could go to her website with $10 and get something that's going to last you for a really long time to decide before you would buy them. Also, all of her half pans start at $6 a piece. So if you wanted to just get a bunch of half pans, get an Altoid tin, and just go to town, over time you could build your collection. So that is something that not other sites don't necessarily offer. A lot of handmade watercolors do do that. Some of them do it better than others. I think she does it among the best. So I'm still giving her a four and a half out of five for price there. Pigmentation, I give a four and a half out of five. Like I said, I just think that sometimes the some of the glitter paints, like these on black look awesome. On white, you can definitely see a little bit more separation. You can see the white paper under some of them a little bit better. And so I was giving it a four and a half. And that's really me being nitpicky. I could give her a five for pigmentation. I, I think I definitely could, but I am trying to be as fair as possible. So even if you wanted to say uh, five here, four here, right? I, that still adds up to a 28 out of 30, which is among our highest scores. Let me look so far and see where we're actually at with the scoring. So Soho Urban Artist had a 27 out of 30. Scrim had a 26 out of 30. Again, Scrim's testing and swatches, I think, would be as good as this if they were a little bit more versatile. Viviva was 17 out of 30, so not the best showing. Paul Rubens was 27 out of 30. And the Derwent Metallic Paint Pan Set was 23 out of 30. So 
yeah, these are our highest. These are our, our new uh, highest score so far. And that's not surprising to me because they are among my favorite paints. So maybe I'm a little biased when I'm going about this. I have had a really great experience with Jeannie from Yuli, and I don't mind giving her my seal of approval. Again, you are going to pay, like it is just a, a premium product. So if you don't want to pay premium prices, there are other things that are available. And we are going to go over some of those in upcoming videos. So what do you think about this? Do you think that I am too in love with this brand and I'm not being fair on the pricing? Let me know that in the comments below. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope that this inspires you to paint something sparkly today and to get out those metallic watercolors. And we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.